Again, this is a very much expected pick here from Genflix Airwolf. Don't fix what ain't broke, and they only adjusted a little bit, but the essence of their lineup remains the same. Obviously, though, they're not going to be able to pull off the same stunt oh, that they this did is good. earlier. But again, they will give it a try for sure, right? If they, if they want to get that level 2 right away, maybe get someone by surprise. I'm pretty sure Omega already knows this. Yes. So Alice Pick is going to come out. And this is something that I really like as well for Omega. Yeah, I mean, uh, with the Omega having the Natalia, it should lean more with the uh, the invades, the uh, jungle aggression, or uh, any easy pickoff that they can capitalize on. I I really wanted to see this Natalia being utilized even further as how we are expecting it to be played. And Omega, they excel in this kind of uh, lineup. You have also the, uh, the Akai. You have also the Alice that can soak up a lot of damage to, say, to sustain team fights. This time around, Airwolf needs uh, a quicker way to finish Omega because if this will be, uh, be playing around mid to late game, that Alice and even the Lancelot will put a nail into the coffin. Here we go for the possible last game of the day. Yeah, no, he's a Cho. He's a Cho. Oh, so okay. another. It's fair. It's another irritating hero, especially when you're on the support. This is not an off lane Cho. This is a supportive kind of Cho in the mid game in mid lane. And it's uh, fair. You have a three man knock up in terms of the Jake Kendo. You can go for a setup of Way of the Dragon. You can take advantage of those kinds of plays, especially right now. You can see him just roaming around. Yeah, he's just trying to bait out Kurt Easy here for sure. And uh, that strike not going to do that much damage against the show. Mm -hmm. But again, he is getting all the info that Genflix Arrowwolf needs. Yeah, and uh, right now, Kurt Easy is the one who's going to rotate early on. We're just going to clean up the mid lane as Lancelot is going to secure his buff. Again, Mars is actually the guy who's getting a lot of the pressure here from Omega. Um, and it's he, like he, he actually is forced to back off because if he didn't, there's a good possibility that uh, Kurtizi on the Natal could have been there. Luckily, yeah. Fredo does spot him out. So that's good info. And it's fine. I mean, as Yuzong, you are expected entirely to have this pressure. Heath is going for a bit of those uh, toss up. The stun, oh. Kurt Easy. That was a good catch. Uh, Hajizi level 4, double buffed so far. We'll try to go and see if he can assist, but apparently not going to be needed as Omega Dick refuses to go for the engage as, at the same time. And uh, this Brody. I mean, this is a whole lot different of game. From game one, we've seen a lot of aggression, but this time around, oh. it's a bit of those uh, hey. slow pace. Eudora here in this matchup is just doing so much. Oh, Vito again with the uh, recalls. But right now, Mars is ready to respond, but we don't need to go home. He's back though, and three people on the top lane could mean trouble here. For Mars and uh, Genflix has to be careful on that top side. Yeah, and Rinazmi is just farming it off. He's not really answering this Lapu Lapu. Uh, Kenji is taking it easy. Curtis is showing himself. They can attract this Natalia. And the rotation from Frito is really good. Like He's uh, checking all lanes. He's making sure that the Natalia isn't going to let them slide. But the Hurricane Dance to punish the aggression. And this is what Omega needs. The Whoa. aggression. But then Brody, the damage. Rinosby is bottle. going to hit him really yummy and delicious as Bottle is going to secure another kill. And he's going to spade his it out. That's Curtis is being focused. That's another kill coming in from Omega. But here comes Airwolf. They are not going to stop as the dragon will be popped off. They don't want to go yet. Oh, They're trying to get something else here. Heath, though, in the Akai. Could go in with the Thousand Pounder. Yeah. The Thousand Pounder a while ago was it, is uh, something that he got a good amount of setup. Yeah, he can, with he the can get a lot. Yeah. yeah. So here's the turtle. Turtles being focused. 
But Curtizi being focused down with that Eudora damage, it was enough. Bottle was able to put himself in a good side. Heath and Kenji might be the ones being punished as this bro didn't clay with all of those damage. And Way of the Dragon way into the hell as Heath is oh, being man. focused. Whoa. But the flicker to Jikendo. Rinazmi okay. with another eat right there as Hajizi will be going down. Happening? Aggression of Arrowwolf left to right and they are not going to stop. Want to go for it more? The tower falls right away. Man, Omega is falling like, like dominoes here. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm, this um, is so surprising. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened a while ago. They already done with the turtle, and they didn't stop right there. They looked for more kills. Heath with the setup from the hurricane dance. That was an overcommitment. I don't know. They bit off so much more than they could chew, and. Omega is definitely fighting back. Yeah. Yeah, okay, compared to earlier, but this is uh this is pretty similar to where we were. And Clay he he went down, but doesn't seem to matter here for Genflix. He is support. He is support mage. He doesn't care. That he's supposed to go down, I think. And so the, th the thing about that is they are focusing a lot of Frito into the Hurricane dance. You should be focusing the Eudora or the Brody, but then again, Toshi will be punished. This Alice early game doesn't have to sustain. Clay! Curtis is going to show himself, but this is a really good Hurricane dance to stop Bottle. But is it going to be bottle? stopping it up? He isn't going to bottle it up as he will be the ones need to go back. And Airwolf is still successful in taking more kills. Even without Frito. Yeah, I'm not trapped here with you. You're trapped here with me. <laughs> Call an That's ambulance. what Bottle says. <laughs> and he an took ambulance. out one. Not for me. Rinazmi. And I must say, Rinazmi is getting a lot of good sustain. Really is getting, getting a the lot. Getting the welcome. Another one. They're not done. They are being welcomed as Heath right now with the damage. He uses the Hurricane Dance. No lockup. No set. Of crowd control. Once again, Bottle is going to bottle him up like a genie is a kill. That's just, uh... Bottle's having such a great game in this one. Great pick up on Afredo, though, but... Trade-off is they don't have vision of this turtle area. And they will concede it. Going over to the Brody once oh, more. Oh, Clay. He doesn't want to go... You don't want to overcommit on that one. You are a Ghidorah. You're a bit squishy, but I love the confidence that he knows he's going to drop even further. Oh. The tone is welcome. Will oh. be denied with the Hurricane Nest, but this will be the backup coming in from Arrowwolf responding. Kenji is there, but Bottle, he is being focused down. Here comes the flowing blood into the blood. Oh, this there going to be a shutdown as Rinazmi will be taken down. Shut down all across the board and more kills from Omega. Good answer and response. Getting a great trade off there. Omega finally back on track here. Hajizi is able to follow up and Kenji was the guy who made the big difference there. Great re engage. And of course, with the setup from Heath, everything just went according to plan finally for Omega. Yeah, and it's something that they need to capitalize, uh, especially uh, on game one. They can just punish Frito. They can punish the aggression, or uh, it's a bit careless yeah, for look Bottle. At here. Bottle, right there, right there. He's in front. He's up the face of Heath and Toshi. Heath is doing such a good job in this engagement that everyone else just needs to do damage, and Heath just pushes people into the right position for them to do some good DPS. And uh, the defend is successful onto the bottom side. Tower with all the aggression being dropped by Arrowwolf. There's a good answer right now. Frido is going to walk up in front of Curtizi, but Toshi and Heath. Thousand pounder, any moment right now. Flowing blood against Clay. And Clay will be able to just stay alive here on the mid lane. He's doing, he's not the MVP for sure, but he is doing a lot of damage right now. And uh, he's enabling a lot of the kills to go through so easily for Genflix Arrowwolf. And, uh, Frito and Heath, once again, looking at each other's eyes. 
is going for a bit. Oh, oh they could have caught Kenji. Great dash out just oh, to be able to do some dance stuff. into the flicker to stop bottle. Is this the moment that they oh need? Oh my god! Oh. No way! Oh my goodness, even Mars will be present to the fight. Rinazmi, is there any chance that he can eat anyone but Toshi? Bottle still alive. He is sustaining. He is surviving. Toshi, is there any chance? And the suffering will not be prolonged as a bit of this refreshing, but yes, that's gonna be it. More damage from Airwolf and more casualty from Omega. Now we need a replay of that one. How did they turn that around? Free man knockup <laughs> from Fredo basically from that Jeet Kune Do. They were ready to take the turtle, but then it got converted to Lord. So yeah. close. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse for Omega, so at least now they don't have to worry about a turtle buff Brody. Yeah. But yeah, they are still on the back foot here against Genflix Airwolf. But this can be anyone's game. It it's not the same as game one. That the momentum of Airwolf is really solid. That it takes away Omega's uh, fighting chance. This time around, this can be anyone's game. This can be uh, Omega's uh, revenge play. Yeah, and I guess revenge is going to be a lot sweeter when served cold. And this is going to be a cold, cold win if they get it. This is like. No way they're going to do that right away. And uh, it's going to be a big uphill climb still for Omega. But they are on the right track. Buster are going to Hajizi. He's fairly decently leveled. He's 3-1-4 and four on the Lancelot. So they still have a good footing. But again, Genflix is slowly encroaching onto their territory. Yeah, and uh, Curtizi is having a hard time with this Natalia because... With uh, Fido's roaming capability and the damage from Eudora with the uh, bottle, they can easily pop off Curtizi. So they don't really want it to go closer. Yeah, Rinazi for sure. also, with the Detonal's welcome, Ooh. can I isolate someone and the reset from the Lord. Pretty sure that was accidental, but for the meantime, it's going to be enough to push Genflix Airwolf back. Omega could get the position back on, but looks like they want to keep going on this Lord. So they are aware. They are inside. Curtizi will be discovered by Rinazmi right there. Another reset into the Lord. Pushing into the bottom the waves of Airwolf. Yeah, and Airwolf. <laughs> They're just going to keep going at this. <laughs> yeah, th this is go time. They knew that Lapu Lapu is onto the bottom side. But then again, Curtizi, really good timing for him to stop. Well, they also have an info where the, where the Natalia is. I don't know why they keep resetting <laughs> yeah. this. And why do they keep on following, chasing? That was an over chase. But he, he's the hope. He's the, he got the hurricane dance, but right now he's being popped off. Frida with the three-man knockup once again. And they are completely going in and going hard. It's Kenji again. Kenji! This Lapu Lapu is doing his best to save the game. Curtizi into the brush. Waiting for the moment that he's needed. But that's going to be Brody with the damage. Rinas is looking for more. As he might eat up, grump up any moment right now. But this will open the Lord Order push for Airwolf. And again, that's not going to be... Uh, I don't think Rinas even needed to use ultimate there. They were able to push back Omega and open turret straight into the heart of the Omega defenses. Now they are ahead by 5,000 gold. Gentlex Airwolf, they just need to be careful and they should be able to have this in the bag. 716 into this Brody. Really on the roll, still got the momentum. Already got the immortality. Good itemization, I might say. Because you are being focused by the Hurricane Dance and you are a juicy target, of course, with that Lancelot and Natalia. Yeah, and Natalia is definitely going to be something to watch out for here still. Because Curtizi, uh, he's not, you know, he's not lagging behind too much. He's still quite somewhere there. He's still viable. He can still do some damage, but again... Kenji looks like he's the one who is trying to do oh. a lot of the engagements here for Omega, yeah. surprisingly. Yeah, he's uh, the one who's looking for the right targets. Uh, we've seen this Lapu Lapu as well uh, in the hands of Airwolf with the flicker into the Bravest Fighter. Good play. And uh, Frito. Oh, is there any chance that he can catch this one? No knock up to cancel the flowing blood. But Detona's welcome. 
Oh, he got him. He got him indeed, but this will be Toshi jumping in for the blood oath. Oh, quick as that, Yodora will be the one who's being the casualty, the flicker to stop Bottle. everyone. Oh, Queen's Destruction for more sustain, more damage. Kurt Easy, one after another, and they are looking for more targets as Frido and Clay will be the ones who's going down. But Mars is alive, the knockup, and all of those damage. Hajizi and Toshi being left out. Brody. Well, well, he's not showing himself on the map. No, he's, he's just waiting stalling. for Curtizi. Oh, he's just stalling, and that's going to be the Tonya's welcome. Welcome to hell, as you're going to die. That was so, so smart. She, with no re engage, but Curtizi is still alive. He needs to gain information. They can go for a steal, but then Bottle is there. Still there. He still got the immortality up. Yeah, immortality is still available, so that would mean that Bottle, he knows where Toshi is, he knows where Curtizi is. Oh, good. But he Played doesn't care. Smart. Played it smart. Mars just spacing out. Here comes a Black Dragon 4. Yeah, Mars was the guy who really took it. Took, it was the gold medalist in that one. He engaged right when he, Genflix Airwolf needed it. And uh, Rinazmi, <laughs> he, got the, <laughs> he got he got he got fried away. Yeah, and uh, the thing about Omega's uh, lineup... Yes, you can engage, but then again, if you're not looking for the right targets, and the thing about that, they took down Frido and Clay, yet they had a hard time punching in even harder. Bottle, really smart. He's just stalling. He's just making himself with a cat and mouse play and uh, wasting a lot of time for Omega. And right now, Kenji dropping really low. And so she has there any chance that he can jump top side bottom side will be pushed everyone is being pushed out as omega is having a hard time being thrown inside the base toshi popping the blood oh just to clear the waves they are looking for more clay frito mars and rinazmi bottle just being safe protect the bottle will be the game we want blood. to keep going here oh, five easy. man they could get sandwich oh. that's a great jump in by heath but i think the, the plan did not go in well the reaction is really solid, but Toshi into the blood out. Bottle is playing with fire, throwing all the damage. Kurtzizi is going for the re-engage. Frido is still got the immortality. Can go for the set of a Jesse. He's going down. The toner's welcome. And this will be the nail in the coffin as Arrow Wolf is looking for more kills. Kurtzizi is looking for more with that jump. Re-engage Toshi, Winter Strunction, but the Kurtizi? submarine will be uh, put down. Enough. And this will be the base as Omega will be eliminated. And Aero Wolf getting the win, advancing even further with MPLI. 2-0 against Omega Esports from the Philippines. Your winner is Genflix Aero Wolf from Indonesia.